Hi guys, happy 4th. Um, I feel like I haven't made a video in a couple of days and just kind of just been taking a break. Um, family is in town, so just completely enjoying that while I have the time to do that. And um, I wanted to like address a couple of things. Um, I feel like a lot of people are addressing this recently, but um, the pastor from Kentucky, he had these prophetic dreams. Um, I actually got sent that from my stepmom, um, this video, and I remember watching it um, and the discernment that I had, I just felt like his, the way that he was speaking, I felt like he was speaking from a, a post-tribulation um, mindset. Um, now, mind you, <clears throat> Um, I believe that God is pouring out a spirit right now and I definitely believe that the dream that he had is um, from God and that we just need to listen to what the pastor said and that we need to um, just prepare I guess not in a fearful way but um, just be aware that this stuff could escalate to the the point that he was addressing and remember we're we're not acting in fear because we are protected um, we are children of God and we don't become fearful of the trajectory of where this world is headed because we have the blessed hope um, talked about in Titus 2 5 I believe um, we have the blessed hope where it's like anything can get thrown at us and we ha we just have that eternal security and just understand that we are protected um, and that we're not in this world we're we're in it but we're not of it if that makes sense so <clears throat> I just wanted to let you know that um, I watched all of his videos um, and I just think that it's something that as Christians we should just be mindful of um, and I still believe a thousand percent, I've said this before in a couple other videos, I still a hundred, the, just the, the, the strongest gut feeling that I have that we are going to be raptured out of here, um, this year. And, um, to be honest, I find myself frustrated. I find myself frustrated because I believe that so strongly that as a church we're going to be raptured out of here this year and I just find myself just irritated because the conversations that I, I come in contact with it's like even from Christians even from Christians um, it's it's as if they are either in denial or they truly believe that we're going to be here for a lot longer. I mean, I have, I don't know, I have just come into contact with so many people um, and they're just talking about, you know, oh, when this whole wave of coronavirus rolls over again, like, we'll get back to school and, um, you know, when my little one goes to school in a few years or we're going to go to this vacation next summer and just long-term plans and it's in just normal conversation and it's like do do we not do we truly not think that we're like in the end times right now like are we just trying to be in denial about this like I'm just struggling I'm struggling because all I want to do is just deep dive into conversations with people and it's like I'm just seeking people out and it's just like okay give me something to work with um, and it's like I'm waiting for trigger words so that I could just dive and in, dive into conversation with these people because it's like they get it they know so that's a struggle right now and I just I'm just like in what is that word I struggle with words you guys um, it's just we're in like anguish right now because it's like our soul does not want to be here anymore but we physically have to we physically have to um 
occupy and redeem the time that we still have left. And, um, hold on. Um, we still have to occupy and redeem and just make the best of the moments that we still have here on this earth, even though things are getting bad. Like, have we heard about the California um, no worship? What is that even? What is that even? But we can still protest. I mean, I'm seriously struggling with the logic. I think I struggle more with the pure fact that there are still people that listen to this nonsense that is projected and they are just so deceived and it, it breaks my heart because it's like, y'all, if there is someone, number one, okay, if there is someone telling you, if you walk into a store and there is a sign, I have yet to see it, but I'm sure the day will come. If there is a sign in some store saying that we have a national coin shortage, I would hope and I would pray that you would see that and just start laughing. Because, no, there's not a national coin shortage. What's happening is, is that... If anything, we have more coins than we know what to do with. I have a whole bucket of coins in my closet. We're not short on coins, okay? What's happening is, is that, again, this is a New World Order precursor. What's happening is, is that they are just beginning to condition you to think, to use your card, to eliminate the coins. And then next thing you know, the coins are gonna start down the line Yes, probably, most likely, a thousand percent. There's going to be a one world order, one world currency. It's probably going to be like through the mark of the beast. Can't buy, can't sell, none of that stuff. So, yeah, eventually. But right now, in this very moment, on July 4th, no, we are not short on coins. So don't listen to that cow manure, please. Um, and it frustrates me to no end that we can't worship in church like that is one of my favorite things to do is to sing and it brings um glory to god because like when we get to heaven it's good there's going to be so much amazing music and worship and it's just going to be so beautiful you guys and um they are attacking the church very hard right now and it's only going to get worse so I say all this, I hope that um, you're watching this and you are in, you have your affairs in order, okay? Um, salvation is simple. I leave the description in the description box. There is a salvation prayer, um, if, like a sinner's prayer for anybody who sees what's going on in the world and um, has not come into salvation yet it's something so simple and it's easily obtainable right now we are still in the the church age of grace meaning like <clears throat> God gives us grace because we have faith that Jesus died on the cross for our sins that he came he died and he rose okay um, in these last days that we're here things are gonna get a lot more intense Okay, so my suggestion is, is that you just completely dive into your Bible. Just completely just dive into it. If you've never dived into the Bible yet, start in John, start in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Um, great place to start. Um, and just completely engulf yourself in God's Word. You can't go wrong with that. God will speak with you, um, and he will teach you and give you the discernment that you need for the place that you're at. Like, God is so good, and um, remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made, and he just loves you so much. So, yeah. this It's just like, I can't keep up anymore. I can't keep up with the world and it's drama and 
like how they're mandating face masks now, like how that's like they're fining you if you don't have a face mask on. How is that even a thing? How are, I mean, like if you're exercising, you're gonna get fined. How is that even healthy? Like, it's like we've completely lost all concept of thinking making our own decisions and it still sickens me that if the government comes out with a statement or the TV says something like the news there are still I'm not gonna put a number on it but there are a lot of people that still listen to it as if it is accurate reliable trustworthy information and it's just not it's just not, okay? There is an agenda. There's a deep state. There is sick stuff that happens in behind those TVs and just in Hollywood. And it's just everyone is collectively intertwined from the government into Hollywood, into the TV, into the things that we eat and the things that we feed our kids. And it's just a lot. Is a lot okay and um, I just randomly had this thought so I'm gonna talk about it I have this book um, called Jesus Calling okay it's by Sarah Young it's a devotional book I've had it for years okay I randomly saw this video the other day on TikTok this guy like it wasn't even on TikTok it was like a recorded video from someone who did something and it was on Facebook okay um, and basically talked about how, like, he was calling out the book, and I'm like, what? So I've only read a couple devotionals, they were alright, like, nothing, like, crazy happened when I was reading it, but he says Sarah Young basically would, it was like an assisted, um, like, basically she used witchcraft to, like, create this book. Um, and I don't even know. I haven't done a whole lot of research on it, but what I saw was enough to just irritate the living you know what's out of me. Because he basically said, like, they would use, like, black mirrors and reflective things like that to kind of have someone write through them, like, use them and write. It's just creepy. Um, and if you get the book, um, it basically, like, if you flip it around, like, there's, like, 666, like, on every single page on the cover, and then on the cover is, like, a reflective, um, it's, like, reflective. I'm gonna try to go and get it really quick, so I don't edit my videos, I just shoot them one time, so, um, it's always just raw and you know, hold on a second. Okay. So this is the book. This one. Um, it's by Terry Young. You see how like the front I don't even know if the light will do it justice. You see how it like reflects? I'm like, what? Um, they're basically saying that that's like the mirror that they do whatever weird stuff that they do. Um, and then the this emblem that's on the front that goes through the mirror, see that right there? If you flip this around, it makes a six six and there's a six under here. I'm dead like no I'm not gonna say that I'm not dead but and it, it has it on every page dude I'm so irritated and this is just goes back to what I was originally saying is like everything everything that we touch that we eat that we look at that we listen to that someone tells us that they tell them it all has to be fact-checked Nothing is what it seems anymore. And um, 
I'm just like so ready to be raptured and just get out of here because this is just absolutely nuts and this video is getting way too long but I just kind of wanted to recap and touch base and just vent a little bit because I'm, I'm sure there's other people out there that feel the same it's just it's just a lot so I I'm going to actually go and I'm gonna go and do a little Bible study or just kind of have some quiet time um, get my mind right um, I hope you guys have an amazing 4th of July please stay encouraged let's encourage each other during this time um, like I just explained things are getting really crazy and out of hand um, just stay encouraged remember your authority and power in Christ um, it's through grace alone through faith alone through Christ alone salvation is super simple don't overcomplicate it um, you still have time to come in salvation with Jesus and I don't care where you are you are totally always welcome into the kingdom of God um, Jesus loves you he loves you so much that he died on the cross for you while you were still sinning you were born a sinner and um, Jesus came and he was perfect perfect and he died on the cross so that we have the opportunity right here right now to be able to just bridge that gap and come into salvation and just have eternal security and that blessed hope and just a way in this crazy crazy world to just have that strong solid foundation in the, the mayhem that surround us so stay steadfast to Jesus keep your eyes on Jesus um, and I hope you guys have a good one I will talk to you hopefully soon bye